Hey everyone, a lot of times I see people asking questions that you could totally have ChatGPT figure out for you. And so I wanted to make a video where I did something that I've never done before and I made it work just using ChatGPT. So I have never created an app script in Google Sheets in my life to do anything and I've never done it to be able to add a lead to Smart Lead. So we are going to use the Smart Lead API to add a lead to a test campaign and I'm going to do it all with ChatGPT. I don't expect it to be beautiful. I don't know even what's going to happen. We'll have this part as the intro. Then I'm going to give an explanation after I did the uh, work. And then there's going to be a really boring part that's going to be however long showing precisely how I actually got the app script working. I'm not going to talk during that part because I'm just working. But the next part of the video is going to be me explaining the steps of what happened. First, we did get this app script working. We have my email here and my first name over here. And here we have a test campaign where there's no leads running at all. And so if I just come in here and I just hit run campaign and I just finished running the script, now we refresh this and we have my first name and my email address loaded into the campaign, ready to go. So here's a quick overview of basically how we got it done. It was much simpler than I thought. I, if I were to do this again, I'd want to figure out how to make this a formula. I didn't get too into that and I, I did it. So I didn't want to get too into the weeds of doing this, but I'd love to make this a formula that I'd be able to just drag and drop and run through everything. But so here was literally my chat GPT prompts. I want to build a Google app script that allows me to add an email to a campaign. The email will be in A2 and the first name of the email will be in B2. This is the API we need to play with. Boom, 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 all this stuff. And then it outputted this answer. So I did all of this and I literally just copied and pasted it into the app script over here. I'm not going to open it because it has my API key for smart lead in here. Um, I changed these things because we lost a client because this is true. I don't know why they keep it as default true. So just be on the lookout that that happens. And uh, then we just inserted it. So then I didn't really know how to, so it actually took two seconds, like literally not even two, like 30 seconds to get this part together. I, I just didn't know how to actually launch the function. So then I just asked it and uh, I wasn't really sure if I needed to add a new thing here. I don't know how that works. This button is what I tried and that's how we got this button right here. Um, and then the cell change, I'm not even sure how that would work, I suppose. Oh, so then I even ask it and I say, you know, how do you make this run? And it told me, um, hmm, maybe this would work. I'm not sure. This actually seems more like what I would want it to, to do and to run. So I guess I would, add, you know, I have a question right now. Do I add this to the same app script? deployment. I don't even know if that's, that's why I didn't even do this. Oh, great. So actually let me pause and see if this works to trying to get this to work right now. And so I went into the logs and it's saying that we don't have you, the permission for that. So I'm just copying and pasting it in here. So I guess we're going to pause and add this to our function. Okay, so this isn't working the way that I wanted and I'm running out of time. But what I did find is that the button works for everything. So if I come here and we hit run and it finished running. Dang, Whoa. I hate these things. How did it just change?
Anyway, I got to do some messing around and I'm running out of time. But after this, you can see how I built it in its entirety. I'm just gonna add my API key. I just did something in the app script where I deployed. I just don't wanna show that because I didn't want to uh, show my API key.
Not beautiful, but we did it.